What you are about to witness is the documentation of what may go down as the biggest discovery in the history of retro video games. Today is a really, really extremely exciting day for us because I'll be honest with you, we don't really know what we're going to see today. We're meeting up with our buddy named Bobby from Dusty Games. He supposedly has some really cool stuff to show us. He didn't even tell us what it is, but it's, it's a secret. It sounds amazing, <laughs> even though we don't know what it is. And he has a world of things to show us that we know are huge and that we know is cool, but to be honest. I don't know, I'm excited, bro. I am excited too. It's so top secret, he can't even really tell us over the phone and there's all these rules and obligations that we have of things we can't talk about and things we can show and things we can't. So we're excited, Bobby, we're coming for you. What you are about to see has never before been seen by the public until now. We get to Bobby's place and he welcomes us in. And again, we're not knowing what to expect. I don't know if we're gonna see anything at all or if this is gonna be overhyped or whatnot. But we go in and holy crap. Behind this door is a magical world of retro games. You will be shaken to the core. Oh boy. Oh shoot. What? Where are we? Back in time. We all, so real talk, Bobby, we actually don't know. Like we said before this, we were filming, we're like, we're going, and it's interesting because I don't know what we're going to see. I didn't know this is what we're seeing. Yeah. I, Why are these all sealed? I was expecting riffs like, oh yeah, we're gonna go check this out. Some maybe a little bit pallet worth of stuff. Like, and to be honest, I was expecting like two or three pallets of new games, but these I mean, are all sealed. Yes, everything is sealed. <laughs> sealed Mary Kate and Ashley Crush Chorus. You gotta be kidding me. This is the literal, literal gold mine. Now I know, I know there's a lot of YouTube channels and ours and other game hunting, but and we've all seen a million things. No, you have seen nothing. We're not there yet. We're not oh. done yet. Come I on. thought this was the rarest of the rare. No, 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 no. <laughs> we got her at 16 too. Oh my gosh, dude. Holy I couldn't God. believe. When I walked in, it was just games everywhere. Games. Past uh, these, so these are legitimately sealed. Everything's factory sealed. Look, we, we got boxes of stuff up here if you want to take a look. At aisles, that. aisles, Target superstore size. Aisles of retro games in the box, sealed. Look at Turok Rage Wars sealed. Turok Two sealed. Toon Sylvania. Everywhere, every corner. We walk in and we're just bombarded right away. We walked into the Game Boy area and we're like, oh my gosh. 
How many games is this? Uh, uh, this is Game Boy. This is Game Boy Color. This is by sections. So this is Game Boy Color, Game Boy Advance. Tell me what you want to see and I can show you a little bit of history. Hey, I'm Bobby from Dusty Games. So I've been in the industry since 2001, uh, since I was 18. Uh, the company's been around since 92. So we basically had retail stores at one point, but now it's just under the um, Dusty Games. Wow, dude, wow. So you wanna go back in time? Did you rob a bank? No. It was one of those things where normally I have so much to say, but every oh. turn. It's so funny, normally I have too much to say, but now I'm just like, look, that's all I got. Every look, I was just like, oh my gosh, you have this. No, I've heard of RoboPon though. Yeah, so this is a game that, it's really bizarre. This is one of the games that has like, you have like a sundial. Okay. It's built into the games. So oh, you, wow. you have to play outside and like, it reflects the sun or eats the sun. Was it like made as a way to like, try to get kids outside? I'm not even okay. sure, but I think it predates Pokemon. One of the cool things he had, he had a sealed, uh, Game Boy or Game Boy Advance game or Game Boy Color, I can't remember to be honest, but he was telling us it's like a pre-Pokemon expensive, rare. Oh, that one's, wow. Wow. Dude. And it's by Atlas. I, I'm sorry, even though you're talking to me, I just, I'm like. It's okay, and this is game's worth like 200 bucks now. Oh, look at that rare retro game. You have 10 copies of it sealed. It was one time <laughs> worth nothing now, but. And you have a stack. A stack. Stacks of sealed ones. Yeah, but those are the last ones. I had one time oh hundreds. Oh my gosh, look, you have this. Holy crap, how do you have this? Oh my gosh. Bro. What do you guys got over there? Look at this. All these sealed magazines. He had like, like all the like game and not what is it called? Oh, like strategy, strategy guides. guides. Like strategy tons guides. of strategy guides. Sealed, sealed, sealed. Wait, this better. thing looks amazing. <laughs> and this is why Dusty Games is called Dusty Games because you can see that there's some dust in this thing. <laughs> For like Donkey Kong Country and 64 stuff, Contra stuff. Gosh, <laughs> just hundreds of sealed magazines. This Donkey Kong Country, Dragon Warrior, Dead Alive. I know game guides. Oh my, a Shenmue 2, the Contra, they're all the different game guys. Conker's Bad Fur Day. Yeah, Conker's Bad Fur You got the Nintendo one and you got the Prima one. Power Stone. That was honestly like warehouse full of stuff. Power Stone. Oh, oh, man, we go Metal Gear Solid. The a, best guy man to rip off. Breath of Fire. Games. And not just games, sealed games. God, honestly. Is, how, long is, how much longer is he gonna stay on the show, dude? Probably a week. Yeah. There's one person on the show to this day, Ricky, that I literally sometimes think like, why do we have him on? Yeah. I'd like to interview for the p position. You're in. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. I Bye. Knew That's it. for breaking Bye. my leg. Bye. 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 Have a beautiful Bye. time. Okay. What else? You could, we can't be that lucky. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, bro. <laughs> Let's just jam. Space jam. Yeah. Come on, jam. <laughs> so we. <laughs> Sell online and kind of do that, and we do conventions as well. So that's how I met um, Aaron and the rest of the crew. I, dude, I'm speechless. It's seriously insane how much stuff is in here. So for me, it's just it's a cool environment. Um, video games is still my passion, so it's a pretty cool environment to work at. Oh my, oh my gosh! I smell Xbox. Xbox. <laughs> Follow the nose. It was so hard to know where to go because it was like it's insane and it's the most overwhelming yet beautiful satisfying place i've ever been ever this is so real bro it's this is the most I, I told them this is the most overwhelmed i've ever been in my life but in the best way like bobby's talking to us about what he has and i can't even look like right now look at he's this. looking while i'm talking look at this entire big floor of uh, i don't know I, I don't have words man just look at the footage whatever everywhere Everywhere, dude. Switch, look at this. Dreamcast, look at this. Bootleg everything you can. It's been of. it's been years since I see this. You see this? It's not plastic. It's sealed. Look, and I've been everywhere in the retro world and seen retro rooms. This, this was the peak. I'll take them all. Give them to me. <laughs> I can't. I'm losing my mind. Shut up. No, I can't. <laughs> but no. Run to the <laughs> There's too much! There's too much! I can't listen! Oh my gosh! I am so overwhelmed! We hit the peak. From now on, any NES pursuit we do, it's not gonna compare. We're gonna go to the swap meet and they're gonna be like, uh, boxed NES over here. We're gonna be like, stupid. There's 40 of them over there. That guy. <laughs> right here, like, oh my. Bro. 
I don't think you have enough of them. No. Maybe like 10 more. I always knew you had stuff, but like, oh my gosh. I had to, I had to hide my hoard. Oh my, I had to hide it. Oh, oh my gosh. What'd you wish for? What'd you wish for? Did you close your that eyes? That I'm supposed to wish for this? Make a wish in the world. You're right here? Yeah. Or here? Yeah. Hi. Oh my god! Like... Now you're a fire on the squad! <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if I ever told you. Oh. <laughs> Dude, come on. Do oh. When there's so much stuff that you like in one area, you don't know what you... Honestly, I was just confused. I... People were talking, and I honestly couldn't focus. I was looking, talking, listening at the same time. Okay, I've been missing a lot of Xbox, like, just fighters. But, dude, he's got every single one sealed. It's insane, like, but honestly, what really was getting my eye was fighting games and Switch games, because, so right now, honestly, I'm just getting these because of word of mouth. Everyone tells me, it's, well, actually, it's kind of Gabo's, like, just, like, gnawing at me, like, dude, hey, we got some Rico, because it sounds good. The main console I wanted to get fighting games for was Dreamcast and Xbox. <laughs> oh my god, he's so green! Look at this! Oh, oh, oh my god! god. Dude, oh. Oh. There were a ton of Xbox ones, but I, I honestly had to narrow it down to something I really, really wanted. Sealed. Are you guys green with envy? Oh my, oh my god. god. So I decided on Capcom Fighting Evolution. It had Street Fighter, it had Dark Stalkers in there. I mean, like, it has everything. Oh, there's a ton of <laughs> Do you have any more of these? Nah, just one or two or uh, ten. Or, I'll I don't take know. this one. I lost count. Nice. nice. How could you say no to something that has guy on the cover? Nice. 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 <laughs> <laughs> it is what it is. 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 Ricky! Bobby kind of walk over with some carts and telling us he has something to show us. Yeah, so I got this game, Impossible Mission 2. Me and Aaron were talking about his love, passion for NES games, so I was like, dude, I found this crazy deal. Oh, no way. Uh, so, something about Impossible Mission 2, if you guys don't know, it has one of the best death scream animation sounds ever. Uh, the voice recording, the voice sampling of the screen on the Commodore 64 version is great. And the NES version is hilarious. What did I just do? I was talking to this guy. Um, he had a post on one of the Facebook forums and he was talking about how he found a horde of NES games. So I was talking to him and he was telling me, oh, um, I have a few of them. So I was like, oh, how many? He's like, oh, I have a bunch. So I was go we were just conversing and then we kind of made a deal. Um, the gentleman was out of Nevada and just talking to him and getting the history of it, this guy had like sealed copies in master cases. So he had six, co six pack packaging and also the 24 packs. You just opened, opened. a sealed box. Why did I do that? Am I well, crazy? Am I insane? He got six packs of boxed double dragon twos. He has iron sword, wizards, and warriors. He has alien syndrome, bro. Oh, oh aliens. Oh, oh, look at the beautiful, look at the artwork on this. I've always loved alien syndrome artwork. Oh, look at that. Oh, that's beautiful. Alien syndrome, a bunch of them, like 12 of them in the box sitting there perfect. And then come to find out, he has 
paperwork from when the, the deal initially was purchased in 1989. So that just to me was just phenomenal. Just having like so much history on a game that technically people don't know exists and then secondary is an unlicensed game so it even makes it even more cooler. How insane do you want to go? Um, I know how insane I'm going to go. Well, like, people no, right no, now no, are no, let's have some fun. Let's have Impossible fun. Mission 2 has some of the worst gameplay, but some of the best little sound bites in it. The yelling sound effects are amazing. Gabo thinks I don't know he's behind me. Uh -oh. Ricky, should we have some fun? Yeah, why not? Fun, 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 fun. Oh, he's opening it! And then while he's showing us all this and we're like, wow, dude, these are mint. These are crispy. These are clean NES games. He goes, why don't we explore a little? But just just getting the historical aspect of games from like 1989, the company bought like 10,000 units and now I'm, I have, I'm owner of some of that and I even got the paperwork from that deal from when it was originally done. <sighs> yep, that's a game. Ricky, Ricky, get, get, take a hit, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I think I have to join in. Oh yeah, get it, Bobby. Uh, and he decides to have a little fun and he opens a sealed copy of Impossible Mission 2 and all of us are getting that, that sweet smell that we all love and you know he's got like 20, 50 copies so he's like sure let's open them. Careful, uh, gentle with the siding. Yeah. Your you're big fat fingers. You're ruining Dude. it. Yeah, what's going on? I'm sorry, I'm you're so nervous it. right now. I'm sweating. He opens them and man, it's beautiful. It's the black car. I know there's other variations of the cartridge. So to see the black version, which I have not, and just hold it minty and new. Oh! oh! It was a beautiful feeling and only a feeling that Bobby would be willing to do because he's like, I got more. And you know the funny part is, I have some more. Yeah, I, I noticed. You have a couple. You have a, <laughs> you have a few. Oh, and, and what about these? Yeah, they're just, that's all the same. We got. 24, then they got six packs. How many you need? I can I can do a bunch of these. Yeah. Oh my gosh, look at this one. No. Oh my oh, gosh. Oh, look, oh, look. Oh, double dragon oh, too. Oh my, oh, 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 oh gosh. Oh, Gabo. Oh, oh my wait, 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 gosh. Wait, 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 wait. Oh shoot. Oh, oh I my need, gosh. I need to touch that. I got lots of games, somewhat. Maybe a little bit. I should, it's just, this is, I mean, honestly, uh, uh, like real talk, like I've been in the retro world forever and I've seen yeah. every big YouTube. This is what you don't, you don't see. You just don't. don't you do all. not see this. Nice. nice. Hey look, he say favoritos. This is a PS3 brown game. Have you seen Gabo laughing? He goes like this. It's no, this is just the controller. Oh, it's the actual button. Uh, smell like all. Bobby! Oh, that was actually sharp. What was that? Oh, there's thorns on there, you doofus. Whatever. Yo, look, I found this game. Yeah. This was my first basketball game I ever got. You guys know me, I love basketball. This is crazy. Sealed? Funny enough, we're in this place filled with the most gorgeous retro games everywhere, but like I said, there's new stuff everywhere as well, and I am for sure on a Switch kick, buying a lot of Switch games, so we go over to the Switch section. This is one of those games that has that like art aesthetic that I really like, that's like even a little more minimal than I normally like, but still not too minimal to where it feels like something I don't want. Okay, look. So, I don't know about the Switch, what's going on, it's on fire or everything, because everybody uh, and I'll pick up Switch game, including me. And I love my Switch. I recently got uh, Monster Boy, and I'm seeing all these games that are actually fairly priced, actually really good priced out, and I'm like, I gotta get these, and one that's sticking out like crazy, besides Owl Boy, which I'm dying to play because so many people talk about it on the internet. When I first started talking about Switch, when we first started our channel, this is a game that a lot of people were like, dude, are you excited for Owl Boy? Are you excited for Owl Boy? And sadly, I never played Owl Boy. So I just picked up uh, Rico, he's a first person shooter, 
Hey, look at me. I'm shooting. <laughs> and I'm gonna get this one. And first person shooter. This is very rare for the Switch. And probably this one too. Rico? Really good game. And Moonlighter. It's like a. I think it's like a Zelda clone. Uh, dungeon crawling. Oh, well, but I need to give something to him. For very good price. Uh, Bobby is awesome. Thank you, Bobby. Man, I wanna get him. Like, oh, oh. You know, we all need to give Bobby a hug. Bobby, just come here and give me a hug, bro. Get it. Oh. Oh, okay. Oh, look at me. I'm filming from the old takes. So I think uh, I talked to Bobby. Uh, I haven't picked this up yet. Wild Guns Reloaded. A Natsume game. Uh, this game was like one of the most important games to us on Retro Liberty because this was for years the game that Ricky was always looking for. Wild Guns was like so talked about on Retro Liberty, our old show. It was like Ricky's golden desire and he ended up getting it. But I have not gotten this version and Wild Guns is a fantastic, fantastic shooter game. I'm looking forward to playing the Switch version because I love Westerns. I love the style. I love the gameplay, I love Clint, I love Annie, and I love that they added two new characters, and it's four player? Bobby, really thank good. you. So I'm gonna get Gabo, I'm gonna get Mikey, I'm gonna get Complex, I'm gonna get Ricky, and we're gonna play together. That's just what we're gonna do. This is, realistically low, this is, I know we've said it before, it's like beyond Ooh, unreal. I just like the look especially as like a retro gamer, especially doing what we do. Like us in the Game Chasers, like this is our this is our, our love and our butter. Oh, I don't know if I ever told you. Oh, it is what, get off me with your thorns. <laughs> Stop it. It's like an old dragon. I know. This is amazing, bro. Somebody can take a look at this. Don't flip it. <laughs> oh my gosh, this is in Spanish. It's no very free. Oh. Coming up, when you think you've seen it all, the shocking becomes reality. When we think we've seen it all, and we're like already extremely, extremely mind blown, Bobby's like, let's show you some things. Pretty cool. Just a little cool. As if we haven't seen anything cool. Yeah, no, oh just a little, just slightly tap. So, yeah. There's more? Oh, yeah. uh, I have more to show you guys. You want to see like this one area of my stuff that's ultra rare or this one area that's ultra rare because we're going to come Try. back. Let's see it. Let's, Let's see what go. you got. Uh oh, okay. Let's go. Let's follow me. Uh oh. Uh oh. So we go and we say, we'll take door number one. He takes us. And now entering the room. I got something to surprise you. So I was like, let me show you something that will blow your mind. Oh, oh, oh. Part of his, uh, his office, his room, his warehouse, whatever you want to call it, and he shows us. Oh my oh, God. God. See? We're... Whoa, wait, oh my God. I can't show that to you. This is my Academy Award <laughs> for Nintendo. <laughs> for being a most Nintendo fan for life. And then the coolest thing was the statue, which honestly just, it's the coolest thing to have because it's like a award that you can never ever get publicly and it's just. Tell, tell everybody what about it, that. It's actually a Nintendo employee award. Oh my God. So Dude. it's one of those things that you'll never see. Unless you literally were a Nintendo employee. Wow. Yes, and that's, and that's, it's not, you give maybe one in like, Couple thousand. Yeah. Can I feel the weight of it? Yeah, yeah. It's very heavy. Oh, bro. wow. This isn't cheap. Cover up the name, guys. It's so unfrequent you'll find this thing. And it's like, this thing is heavy. It's like 20 pounds. And it's just, it's 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 the coolest thing because it's something that you don't see ever. Like, yeah. ever. You also have an NES test station right here. Uh, this gentleman had a post on a Facebook group. He was talking about he had some repair parts and he was looking to sell. Um, he, coincidentally, he was in Southern California. So we talked, conversed. We went back and forth for about two weeks. 
Uh, finally, we got we agreed upon a price that made sense for both parties. But oh, th this is just a starting point because I'm just gonna just, just kind of wow you. Oh, okay. And not wow you, kind of just. What's happening? So we met up, we did the deal, and it was just honestly, I was blown away just having this this cool like history of Nintendo. He's gonna take oh, you back dang. to the. Oh! Oh my! <laughs> Holy crap! He shows us. Some of the most rare of rare of rare things. And normally these are the kind of rare items that some people are like, oh, I have one of these like tester kits or repair kits. Oh my gosh. Nintendo Super Famicom, Super NES, okay, like I said, control deck tester. No, so we, I pulled out the stuff. I got the Nintendo test station, Super Nintendo test station, and then other cool items from the Nintendo era when the Nintendo had repair stores. Okay, let's, let's start kind of get, oh, I mean, oh, oh my God. <laughs> But he has multiple versions of all of these Super Nintendo tester kits, Nintendo tester kits with the TV. Oh, oh dang. Stop it. Stop it. Should I continue or should I stop? Bobby, is this all your personal collection? Yeah, this is my personal collection. Oh my this is God. The, this is stuff that's near, near and dear to He me. has the Super Nintendo games, the tester kit cartridges. We're not done yet because we're like, you know, we, it's, it's, it's not complete, right? So we have to have games. <laughs> and then he also has the yellow, no, not the gold, the yellow Zelda tester kit cartridge as well. Let's just, uh, just, just let me just casually. <gasps> Is that the test cart? Test cart. Oh my oh. god! Honestly, the origin of Zelda test cart is kind of vague. Um, based on what I've read, it was used as a test test mechanism for t the controllers and stuff. But that information is kind of, there's not enough history out there and there's not enough information about it. Well, there's two variations, which has one with just a standard one and there's a five screw. And there's a you three have the screw. five screw. Five screw. Oh wow. my god. That's it makes it even more valuable. And oh my gosh. What I've read, there's two variations too. There's a three um, three screw and a five screw. There's more. Was this all from that collection? Yes. There's no more to way. It. There's That's more. There's still more, but we're not going to see it today. Yes. Oh, -ho! got to tune in for number yeah. two. We got to watch it for number two. The fact that Zelda has so much history, it just it's the coolest thing to have. I'm I'm gonna try to find another uh, a three a screw cart, but who knows if that will be possible because it's one of these you don't see very often it at all so I'm like it's going to go back it? and yeah. film number two. Yeah. No 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 god what do I do? Yellow Zelda cartridge? Oh man I almost have a heart attack. Okay. Only I can. Oh. <laughs> these are things that you don't see and when you do you see like one of them with missing parts and you see half of it from a person. This is all of it sprawled out. Yeah, this this is <laughs> unbelievable. With everything that it needs and Bobby's knowledge and confidence being dropped on us with all of the information about what this is it was like it's funny because I've rarely found me in like two instances not being able to find words one on my wedding day and then today <laughs> <laughs> so uh, we like we're like yo our collector level is up here because we're collectors but I feel after walking out there so I have a question we're yeah here. we have one more tub do we want to surprise people now or do it for video two I say truthfully, we do it for video two to keep it bonkers. I say you go into a little bit. We're, we're not as good as we thought. Bobby's the real true collector. So that's it. I checked my whole collection for one thing. <laughs> no, when somebody starts to smoke, like, you get it. Whatever. Towards the end, I'm doing my deals, I'm seeing what I want to get, I'm already getting Owlboy, I'm already getting Wild Guns, and I'm like, I need one more thing, I just I just feel it, I need another I need another game, I need another Switch game. Like, what's cool? A Switch game. <laughs> I do have one. I go over with Bobby, I'm like, Bobby, come on, show me something else. What, what am I gonna get? You you tell me what I should buy. How much was Salt and Sanctuary? <laughs> 25. How much was Wonder Boy? Um, I can 
do 23 would be the best I could do. What's right about now. what's candle? We end up picking Wonder Boy, uh, the most one of the most beautiful uh, new games that does like the retro vibes right with the switch to retro right. Well, that's a good deal. It is what it is. <laughs> I'll take it. Wonder Boy, the Dragon's Trap. Um, I'm happy to pick up this game for a cheap price. I walk away with three Switch games knowing that I'm coming back to buy more. If you're a Sega Master System fan or just a fan of Wonder Boy, this is beauty at its finest. Not only good, clean, like beautified graphics, but also with a good pace and the ability, which you probably know, to switch between the new graphics and the old on the fly. Just like that, and there they are. I'll buy it for 23. I'll take it! Ow. It's a deal. This is this is a good darn day for the Switch and for everything else in the world that is video games. Right, Gabo? Oh, thanks, Gabo. Alright, so today I'm gonna get these two right here. Okay, I'm gonna get the Space Jam PlayStation game because I don't really collect games that much, but I do have the full set of the Space Jam Pops. So I'm gonna put this right on top of it, make it look all nice. Yeah, you're too brown. Oh, it is what it is. Alright, oh, guys, now do we plan them? <laughs> <laughs> the shooters! He's like, <laughs> oh, oh, oh my gosh! Bro, are you guys okay? That was awesome. That was one of the best times ever. Thank you. I feel like not only smarter, but I feel like uh, I've seen it all now in the world of retro. It's going to take a lot to top that. So, oh yeah, tough game. In the end, honestly, I'm just going to have to come back because Bobby hooked it up, but I want more stuff. <laughs> I just want to take a picture of this and like put the picture on my Mario shelf. <laughs> That's it. We'll see you guys again because we'll be back there. We're going to go back no matter what. So even if you don't like this episode too bad, you're seeing more of it because we're coming back whether you like it or not. <gasps> yeah, we haven't even we haven't even touched. We haven't even grazed the surface. We probably saw what? 40, 50 percent? Not even that, bro. I, I would say 25 percent because we skipped. We skipped all the new we rows. We skipped yeah. like three rows. So we have 70 percent more to show you guys. So uh, we'll do it next. Next episode. Ready, guys? On the count of three, uh, the uh, retro gaming is really I don't cool. Want to be Subscribe one, two, three. Whoa, Whoa buddy! buddy. What? <laughs> oh god! Honestly, I've never been crushed like that. Like I felt like I was crushed. Appreciate it. Ah. Nice. You see that? I can't say no to the deals. It's like. That's what Addict said. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so this is probably deleted. This is a horrible clip. Right, Mikey? Yeah! Right, Ricky? <laughs> right, Complex? And, and really good price. Yeah. That's Complex. See, I was doing it as a joke, but then he really likes them. <laughs> oh! I don't like work. <laughs> you don't like what? <laughs> Why you gotta judge me when I do it? You act dumber than all of us, naturally. Go with your hands up. I don't going to throw me over there. That's pretty good. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty good. I'm not gonna lie. Like it sounded. I like to sing. <laughs> nah, but look, bien. Uh, Bobby, will you explain to the camera a little bit more about this and uh, why you decided to give it to me? Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what was it? It is what it is. Just three copies of the old Soul Calibur Five Collector's Edition. Oh, take a hit, man. I will tell your mom. <laughs> nah. Uh, Veggie tails! <laughs> Guy just nailed me with the thorn bush. No, look at him laughing. I can't even get past. I can't, our cameraman back there almost just fell down. By the way, somebody's nimbus. <laughs> oh my god! No! Oh no! my god! I wish for money, uh, more gain, no health, no happiness. Dude, did you know they made a link? Shut up. <laughs> when I see game. Shake my rump. I wanna and grab them and give them thumps. Money and games. Well, nice. 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 It's from Bobby's world. Come on, guys. I don't know if I ever told you. All right, let's go. <laughs> Is this hurting? Does it hurt? Does it hurt? Look, he's so pissed back there right now. 
It is what it is.